Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to resolve the fatal error. So what is this fatal error? Okay. So whenever we are going to push the code into GitHub or Bitbucket, sometimes we will get this type of issues. Okay. Whenever you are going to get this type of issues, so what we need to do? At what time we are getting this issue? First you can see. So first we are checking git status. Okay. So here there are two files. It is modified. Then we are adding the files. Then after seeing the git status. Okay. Successfully added these files. Then we are committing our code. This is also successfully done while pushing into master branch. Okay. Or while pushing into the GitHub or any particular branch, we are getting this issue. Okay. What is this issue? Just read it out. Fatal origin does not appear to be a Git repository. Okay. Then one more line like, okay, could not read from remote repository. So whenever you are going to get this type of issue, right? Okay. The very first step, what we need to do is, okay. We need to check, we need to check whether we need to check whether that repository is present in repo or not. Okay. So that is the first step. So this is my repository. This is my repository. Go to repositories. See if you observe here, there are only two repositories. One is Java programs and test repo from where we are trying to push our code. Okay. So that is test three, test three. So in that case, what we need to do, we need to create a new branch here. Sorry, new repository here. Test three. Okay. Test three is my repository. Just to create an empty branch. Okay. Now the repo is created. Now the repo is created. Now Okay, copy this one. Copy this URL. Copy this URL. So this is where you are. Now, just need to apply. Git remote, add origin, the path we need to mention. Okay, this is the very first step. First, we need to verify whether that repository is present in our GitHub or not. If it is not present, we need to create it. If it is present, take this path, take this path and just add git remote, add origin, your path. Okay. The next step is you need to clone the code from master branch, git clone origin and master okay so you will get this type of error okay so this is not an error anyway so it's like a warning now we can try to push your code git push minus u origin master Just give enter. See now, successfully our code is pushed into GitHub. Now we can go to GitHub. Just do refresh. So here you can verify. Here you can verify. So this is our 
we can resolve the issue so these are the two commands we need to remember okay git remote add origin the remote url then you need to clone this then we have to push our code yeah that's it for this video hope this is uh, helpful for you happy learning